Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is Laravel pagination, right? So I have already created a student controller. So if you check my previous video, you can see how to create this and all the Laravel 9 playlist links are provided in the description section. So if you just uh, go to the app HTTP controller, there is student controller. Okay. So this is a student controller and i have a model that is student model okay so all i have and i want to get student data from the student table and will display here and i will display with a pagination right so in this video we are going to discuss about how pagination works in laravel right so for now i don't have any data in the students so quick entry some data so if you just go to the Mm, database section so if you just go here database inside here you will get the seeder so this is basically the database seeder so when you actually install laravel the default seeder is already created and this is the structure and you will get this database seeder so right now quickly enter some data into the student table so i will insert data through the uh, db okay so just use this db and I want to insert multiple data at a time so I will use faker so I already discussed about the, what is seeder what is faker so please see my previous video right and I want to use the same faker here so write faker slash factory and just use this factory as a faker right so I will use as a faker okay now to create a faker so before that we need to know what is the database seeder the yes. main purpose is to seed some data into the tables means uh, if you want to insert some data using seeder we can do this and the faker is the another things where by using faker we can generate demo data for um, student table okay any table means in this video we are going to insert a student table okay so simply let's use the faker so write faker and faker is a variable and let's call the faker and we'll create a faker function so right so simply just use faker create okay now i want to insert uh, suppose 100 records so easily we can insert hundreds of data not only hundreds we can set any range suppose my range is 1 to 100 uh, as index okay so simply write here index and here i just use the db i already declared here that is i am using db and i already insert some data into which table so i have to provide the name of the table so my table name is students so just copy this so that there will be no mistake of uh, spelling and i have to insert some data so simply write insert okay and inside the insert functions i will just create an array so that we can add multiple columns at a time so i have only name and email and id is auto incremented field so it's simply just use not only id actually name and name equal to i will use the faker so simply write faker variable and we'll use faker name and another things email and simply use faker email okay faker slash email easy so this part is done now just i need to uh, seed this data into the database so simply just go here and uh, just write php artisan db seed okay easy right so database seeding completed successfully and you can see you have a hundreds of record okay so this is the hundreds of record we are getting all the records and it looks like a demo data okay so all are good now we have a data into students table now i need to uh, show into a separate url uh, as a student list and i will use the pagination from there okay so simply i have a student controller so let's create a function suppose i want to show the student list suppose right public function and the student list okay this is my function name and simply just write return something hello okay so let's see how it's working or not so simply let's call the student list from the routes so just go to the route section 
so this is my routes and we'll use the web.php okay and uh, simply just uh, create a route and get and suppose let's URL is student list okay and let's use the class name that is the student controller this is my class name actually I am already said that I am using this app HTTP controller student controller so that I can uh, use that student controller scope then class and then the function name actually I want to call this student list okay so all are good now just go to this url you can see this hello is appearing or not so before that we need to uh, run the server php artisan serve and now just uh, go to this link you will get the hello that means all are working now i have to fetch record from the student okay from the student stable so here i have a student model so i already using this student model and using this we can get record from the student stable right so simply let's write a data equal to dollar student not dollar student actually i'm calling model student um let's use the gate okay and let's return this here okay and let's see how it's appearing return data now just go here and we are getting all the records that is 0 to 99 all the records we are getting right so just create a simply view file and let's render the view okay so simply just uh, use the return view let's create a view uh, return view suppose student list okay this is my view name and i have to pass the data to the student list so it will be good if i just use the proper variable name suppose let's use the students right so this will be good and it's understandable and i need to pass the compact so using compact we can pass the contract data to the view file right so this is my view file so just go and create a view file so simply just go into the view and here right so inside the view resource views and let's create a view file student list dot blade dot php okay so let's use html boiler template and suppose here write student list and let's create a table so that we can display properly so simply write h2 tag student list close the h2 tag and simply create a table and close the table and inside the table let's use tier and i need the heading also so simply write th for table heading and let's close and suppose i am just using the id and let's copy three four times so i need to display the name and email so let's change into name and here for email okay so tr section is ready and i have a student data this is the array data so we need to use a for each loop to display all the record so simply write for each and i am getting the value that is students okay so simply write dollar students as dollar stu or simply write dollar student okay and let's use end for each and for each this one okay great now uh, just uh, go here and let's create a tier tag okay so this is a tier tag and inside here i just going to print this all the data so simply now table data td and use the table data and let's use this syntax that is double curly braces student id so if you check we are getting id name and email so simply just uh, write in this way so just copy the name from here to here and simply copy the email here okay so all are good and it's uh, rendering the view file from the controller functions and we are getting so just go here and refresh this 
yes we are getting all our requests so actually design is not good actually i'm not going to show you how the design will work but i want to show you how the data is coming now the thing is we need to add the pagination at a time we are getting hundreds record this is not good suppose we have millions of data so how we can display millions of data if you want to render at a time so it will take much time or sometime it will say yeah. the time out here okay so that's the reason actually we need a page initial very simply in laravel we can do it easily so instead of get simply we can use the page init function okay page init suppose i want to display uh, at a time 10 records so we need to use this 10 and so if i just go here and refresh we are getting the 10 but we don't have an option to next or back right means i need to go to the another 10 records or next 10 records right in this way we need to display otherwise how we can display all the things so we need the uh, to back or display very easily we can uh, get these things inside uh, laravel so actually we are getting all data in the students variable so simply use students and just call the links function right so it is very interesting so if you just uh, write a links functions and refresh this you will get the previous and next button and this is absolutely very good because we don't have a previous is clickable because we're in the first page now if i go into the next then you can see the previous and next uh, both are appear right so both link can be clickable you can design at your own right but uh, the functionality is uh, let's see if i just click on the next then it will appear and if i just go to the previous we are getting the previous data and simply if i just want to control from here suppose i want to display five records only then you, you can see so refresh this so you are getting these records like previous and from one to five and then six to ten all the records you are getting okay so this is the very simple concept and it is an important concept so if you want to create any application and in your list page you need to uh, define or you need to use the pagination for proper rendering right so i think you will uh, understand all the things so still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to discuss about one of the interesting thing in laravel that is the allocant right i think you hear about the name of the allocant and if you don't hear the name i will show you right so next day we are going to discuss about laravel allocant relations so we'll uh, discuss about the basic allocant relation then the types of allocant relations and discuss all the things right step by step so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye